consider the complex number z which is equal to 3 to the power i minus 1 question a write the integer 3 in the form e to the power of a where a is real so 3 is e to the power of ln of 3 it is given in a data booklet that a to the power of log a b is just b ln it's log to the base e so it becomes e ln of b is b and b uh, is just 3 then question b hence giving your uh, answers in the form because of ln of q where pq are uh, rational and positive rational it means that it can be uh, written as a fraction find real part of z so z is what 3 to the power of i minus 1 um, and and we know that for a complex number which is in uh, the Euler's form or it's also called the exponential uh, exponential form r e to the power of i theta it uh, can, be, uh, can be written as r cosine of theta plus i sine of theta but here you can see that uh, there is minus one and when there is minus one it uh, doesn't uh, work so we should get rid of uh, this uh, negative uh, ne minus one firstly and then um, we can use this formula so it uh, becomes 3 to the power of i divided by 3 just uh, uh, property just property for powers and then it's a constant and 3 to the power of i we can use this result so it's e to the power of ln of 3 and to the power of i and exponents uh, should be multiplied so it just becomes e to the power of i ln of 3 and ln of uh, 3 just uh, like uh, theta here and hence it becomes 1 third cosine of ln of 3 plus i sine of ln of 3 and hence uh, the real part is just this one third cosine of ln of 3 the next we need the real part of 1 over z there are two ways uh, consider 1 over z directly and uh, um, get uh, absolutely similar uh, similar expression uh, r e to the power y theta and then do absolutely the same or it can be used uh, the more theorem because the, it's uh, 1 over z it's uh, z to negative 1 and is that to negative one and the Mars theorem says that z to the power of n it's r to the power of n and cosine of n theta plus i sine of n theta it's when a complex number is given in the form r e to the power i theta or it's the same as r cosine of theta plus i uh, sine of theta hence it becomes modulus where is that it's this it just modulus r to the power of negative one so it's just three and this oh actually we can use this uh, directly so it's three and uh, it's uh, uh, what uh, cosine of uh, uh, n theta so cosine of uh, n uh, minus one multiplied by theta and here it's just cosine of negative ln of 3 plus i sine of negative ln of 3 but cosine is even function and the function of negative x is function of x so it becomes 3 cosine of ln of 3 uh, and uh, sine is odd function so sine of uh, negative x it's uh, minus sine of x so it's minus i sine of ln of 3 
and hence uh, the real part of one over z it becomes three cosine of uh, ln of three or if you use um, uh, directly consider directly one over z you may use this so it becomes 1 divided 1 third e to what i ln of 3 and it's what just 3 and uh, it becomes e to negative negative i ln of 3 and uh, the same this uh, again this formula general formula and you get the same that it's 3 cosine of negative ln of 3 plus i sine of negative ln of 3 and which is 3 cosine of ln of 3 minus i sine of ln of 3 and hence the real part you can see that we get the same result 3 cosine over ln of 3 and and it's all for this question